Did you know there was magic nut butter and bread too? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nicole, and usually on these videos, we are carb cycling. I have been living a ketogenic lifestyle almost two years, and I have been incorporating carb cycling if you're new to the channel, and it has been helping me a lot in many aspects. But today, I thought we'd switch things up, play around, and do a no carb up day. Of course, we are going to stay to our 25 net carbs. That's what I do on my regular keto days, but we're not going to be carbing up and doing over 200 total carbs like we usually do on Sunday. See how it affects us for the run. See how it affects us for our lifting on our lift day tomorrow and just how I overall feel without incorporating the higher carb foods. Now, if you are new to the carb up days, I only incorporate clean carbohydrates. I haven't incorporated any greens. I haven't incorporated any crud processed stuff. It's whole clean carbohydrates and they have been doing wonders for the girl. However, that nut butter, the base culture, raisin bread, the blackberries helped the girl out today. I will tell you because the run today was fire y'all i felt so incredible the entire run only had a couple of times where we had to do our chant what's our chant y'all chant it with me blessed grateful and strong only had to do it a couple of times to get the negativity the negative nicole out of my head but for the most part it was a clear-headed amazing run 50 degrees this morning but as you can see i am a sweaty hot mess beast and there's no stopping me it doesn't matter if it's 10 degrees outside running that amount of time i'm going to get hella sweaty and get nasty as hell but i just felt fire we pushed ourselves today i let my body tell me what i can do your mind will definitely try to inhibit your body you let your body tell your mind how it's gonna go y'all and that will get you through the longevity of runs so we did almost a nine mile run today my goal on sundays is always eight miles that's my goal i actually switched up my route today so instead of doing it my regular way i did it opposite and that really helped me i don't know why it's the same run it's the same exact scenery but opposite it just felt way shorter and more doable i don't know maybe we'll have to alternate back and forth and see if that helps me every week i have suggested to a lot of you guys that have asked me about how to improve the longevity of running while living a ketogenic lifestyle because you're not ready to carb up. And I have suggested to you guys to eat something high in fat about 15, 30 minutes prior to your run, a fat bomb. So as y'all saw me do today, I did the nutso little nut butter and that is really just a fat bomb, a healthy fat bomb. And I did a little bit of fruit with the blackberries and I did the base culture bread. Now, most people I've told this to, they've just done the fat bomb aspect and every one of them have come back to me and told it told me that their running has improved as far as the long running game and they are able to pace themselves better they had more energy when running and so if you're not wanting to carb up guys but you were in the running game i have a lot of new runners with me do a fat bomb 15 30 minutes prior to your run and that will increase the longevity of your run usually and give you more energy if you are already living a ketogenic lifestyle for me i did notice some differences so let me tell you today what i noticed so i had a lot of cramping going on today i had cramping in my hips my glutes it was not fun time so even though the longevity and i felt good with my pacing i kept cramping up and that's the lack of carbohydrates in your muscles so with the berries that did help me a little bit i feel this morning but i think think next time if I didn't want to do a carb up when running I would do maybe an avocado because it is filled with potassium so a lot of people say oh you need to do a banana well if you're not doing keto yeah because it has potassium in it and it's going to be a clean carbohydrate that you can use for fuel when running but if you're doing a ketogenic lifestyle guys eat half an avocado eat a whole avocado it is loaded way more with potassium than a banana is facts and you can also incorporate the nut butter too to get those healthy fats but you're going to get the healthy fats from the avocado plus the potassium so eat a whole entire avocado prior to running I bet you you're gonna see results I might try that next time I don't want to do a carb up day or if I'm doing like a little marathon run because I do feel like I was more clear-headed while running than when eating the carbs I will confess I keep things 100% transparent when I eat the apples I do feel a little foggy when I'm running and usually when you eat carbohydrates and you've been doing a ketogenic lifestyle you will get a little foggy headed and I do feel that with running so I feel today with not doing the carb up day that it did improve um, the longevity of my run a little bit today. I felt clear-headed. However, my joints, I was feeling every move and I cramped up a lot today. Now I am doing carb cycling if you are new because mainly I want to 
build muscle. So carb cycling helps build muscle if you're at your goal weight or near it. And it's also improved my menstrual cycle, which I have had issues, which you will if you do keto long term for a female. So that's why I'm doing carb cycling. So don't think that, oh, I'm doing carb cycling for the longevity of the runs and stuff. Not necessarily. I'm doing it more for the muscle aspect and for the hormone aspect than anything. That's why I started researching it. That's why I'm doing it. And I will say it is helping in both those areas. So that's why I'm going to continue to do it. So no, guys, I'm not stopping carb cycling. Don't get all crazy out there. I'm loving carb cycling. I'm loving the results. If y'all saw that six week video result video, but I am just going to switch things up with doing just plain keto with running, maybe with my marathons and stuff after today, it looks like it might be something that I want to do for the runs. And then maybe after the runs, we'll eat some carbohydrates to kind of refuel. So that's going to be my thinking going forward. But I might try on my six mile little marathon we have coming up doing the avocado thing and see if that helps the cramping and see if that helps the longevity. Drink today instead of doing apple cider vinegar. Y'all saw we're doing the Redmond's Relight. I think I'm going to start incorporating that too to save some money. Y'all are always on me about spending so much money on the apple cider vinegar drinks. And I do love the taste of this and I do love the way this makes me feel and I have it and I don't have to spend money on it. So I think I'm and it doesn't have any carbs and it's clean. So I think I might start incorporating this after my runs too. It's very refreshing too. Always have the Nicole Bridges bundle down below that has this and all my favorites in it for a super discounted price. So definitely check that out. So I could have went longer guys we could have went longer than the 8.8 .8 miles but I knew I needed to get back the hubby has some place to be he's actually already been on me like girl come on I gotta go so I wanted to be considerate of him so we're gonna go in we're gonna get the boys ready for breakfast I'm gonna shower compression socks and y'all are gonna see what we're gonna have for a full keto day no carving up today y'all so most of y'all will be happy about that rocking the white heart black compression socks we got some of the booty shorts on that we ran with one time and we had buns flapping in the wind we had that conversation these are just for inside the house now we don't do that no more and then rocking my disney world shirt i love this that we got from disney world just bumming it and just being super casual post that almost nine mile run i've had a lot of people ask what the compression socks are for so they help with circulation and your legs and if you are a long distance runner these are definitely going to help with cramping afterwards i know a lot of my nurses out there say that you wear these when doing your shifts with being on your feet all the day and they help so i always have these linked down below they come in like a million different varieties i want to order some of the seasonal one seasonal ones they have coming out they look super cute but they definitely help my legs and circulation um post running so i highly recommend coffee you might be surprised i'm not doing the maple or pumpkin spice i've been back to a vanilla kick and i love the pea J Southern Wedding Cake Coffee. This is local to me. You can get it on Amazon, but it's pricey for you guys. I'm sorry. It is so good. And then in my handy dandy Morocco frother, if you don't have that in your life, what are you doing? Treat yourself. Christmas is around the corner. Birthday, get it. Nut pods, just basic French vanilla. And they did not have any at Whole Foods this last week, so I have half a container. What am I going to do? I'm going to have to go back in and see if they have any, because this is my staple flavor. What are we doing for breakfast, girl? You have the pumpkin one, but yes, you went extra and got the skeleton one too I just couldn't resist myself guys I have a whole like collection of dashes now they come out with Christmas ones we in trouble because you know we got to get those too I just love these guys if you're loving chaffles if you're doing pancakes forget doing it in a pan anymore like the pancake maker the griddle one is life but these are life too because one side is like a pancake and the other side is like a waffle so what it is amazing love dash so much not affiliated nothing I just y'all know I'm obsessed with them and I'm obsessed with how freaking cute that looks got some raspberries you know we're going to be putting the complete collagen in our coffee because we got to make sure that we get those joints we were talking about cramping up in joints earlier we got to make sure that we are taking care of them and this definitely does the trick guys you need this in your life discount code always down below i got two vital farms eggs that look like they are about to go they are ready to get off the heat i had a lot of people ask me how do you make your eggs look so perfect? You just put them in there, guys. Add your Redmond salt, your breakfast blend by Primal Palette. Put the lid on it and do them nice and low and slow, and they're going to be perfection. And then take them off the heat because you don't want that yolk to cook through. You want a runny yolk for my runny yolk club people down below. Now, in the microwave, don't get triggered. I do have some Applegate sausages that I just like to put in the microwave. These are the chicken and herb ones, the no sugar. Make sure you look for that highlighted no sugar because Applegate, even though it's a great brand, a lot of their stuff does have dextrose in it, which is unfortunate. But if you get the ones 
ones that say no sugar. They are clean as a whistle. So get that one. It is really good for keto macros, fat, and protein. So we're having three of those. And then I'm going to add two tablespoons of the good, good, sweet blueberry jam on top because I did flavor these blueberry wise with some blueberry extract and some vanilla extract for my keto fluffy can pancake recipe that's in my e-cookbook. If you haven't bought the e-cookbook yet, it is in there if you're interested. Whoa, Nelly. All right. We haven't had a number this high in a while. Okay. Oh, wow. 1.1 coming in post run prior to breakfast. Dang. That's crazy. And that definitely tells me the longevity of the run feeling fire. I was like, you know, burning ketones, living off those ketones off that fat for sure. It definitely helped me. So this is definitely eye opening. Dang. But I do feel like I do need to incorporate carbs guys um, with the menstrual cycle issue that has helped. I'm regular now. I wasn't before doing carb cycling and I definitely feel like the muscle gain has been strong. So I'm definitely going to continue it. But for long runs, marathons we have coming up, this may be the way. Hmm, I love experimenting with myself. I love doing this, y'all. 1.1, damn, fire ketones for me. We have not had a high number like this in a long time, so that is very eye-opening. Breakfast is ready to roll, 758 calories, eight net carbs. If you don't have my e-cookbook with the fluffy pancake recipe in your life, get on it. Get a dash in your life. I will have these linked down below, the pumpkin and the skeleton one. You can find at Target or on Amazon. So flipping cute. I hope they come out with like a snowflake or a Santa one. Wouldn't that be so bougie? I'm here for it. I'm feeling fire. That was delicious. We are meal prepping like a boss. Got pumpkin donuts in there. Got my granola bars I'm about to stick in the freezer. We are doing the damn thing, y'all. I have not prepped a lot of stuff like this in a long time, but I'm feeling the vibes, the fall vibes for the pumpkin donuts. It is in my e-cookbook, guys. Definitely check it out. Got lots of goodies, over 70 recipes in there. That is a staple. You don't have to make it as donuts. As you see, I've got it in these cute little pumpkin, like, silicone liner thing I got from Target. Oh yes, I'm here for it. Lunchtime, and if you've been watching the vlogs, you know I am mushroom obsessed. I have a problem with a lot of things, right? Coffee, mushrooms, I mean, we could go on and on. And I've got some spinach in there we're going to just fry up in some olive oil I got going. And then I'm going to fry up two runny yolk eggs by Vital Farms. Guys, I've been buying the ones from Imperfect Foods and they are pasture raised, organic, but I really feel like I can tell the difference in the Vital Farms eggs. Y'all comment down below if you're like that with certain things, especially with eggs, because I feel like I taste a difference in the yolk, especially. I might be crazy, but I'm telling you, love them. And I got them at Sam's. I think there's a killer deal going on right now if you're watching um, maybe not. I don't know. Check Whole Foods. There was a prime deal going on where they were cheaper at Whole Foods than at Sam's Club. Shut up, Whole Foods. And then we're going to do Wild Planet sardines. Don't come for me. I love sardines and they're so good for you guys. If you can stomach them, if you want to try them, I think they're delicious actually. I hate saying like stomach them because they're so bomb. But I know a lot of you guys like can't even fathom. Try them. These are the Brunswick. If you're new to sardines, do the Brunswick because they're like little fillets and they, they are not no skins these definitely will like if you're new to sardines you'll probably puke but <laughs> get the brunswick in your life this is going to be such a great omega fatty acid meal and perfect for lunchtime i'm loving the food choices today isn't it sad though how like you put a cup and a half of spinach and it looks like a teaspoon after you like cook it down such sad time spinach such sad time lunch here it is Oh yeah, this is going down. 307 calories, three net carbs for all this amazing omega-3 packed goodness in your face. Get this in your life. Spot on, hit the spot, just what I needed to refuel. I'm feeling fire. We are doing all the meal prep things. We are getting ready and set for the week. Set your intentions, guys. Make a list. I've been saying that in a lot of the videos lately, and it will just set the vibes and set the mood, and you will follow through, and you'll feel so accomplished. I'm also a little bit jacked on some caffeine. I'm drinking the Zevia Cherry Cola. It is my absolute favorite. I can only find the Cherry Cola on Amazon. Y'all let me know if you can find it in the store. It's not at my Whole Foods anyway. I just went and got the 
Dr. Zevia one or whatever. I do like that one and it has caffeine, but this one I have to special order all the time up off the Amazon. Don't forget you need to be taking your joint support. You take three of these per day. I take one for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I feel like this has made a tremendous difference, especially when running or if you're doing HIIT workouts, you're doing a lot of cardio, you're doing a lot of lifting, guys. You need this in your life to help with your joint support, with your bones. Grass-fed beef liver is going to have so many nutrients that you don't always get on keto, so definitely get this in your life and you take six of these per day, so two in the morning, two at lunch, two at night. You need these. Equip has the cleanest of the clean ingredient products, guys. Y'all know I love them. I would not tell y'all about anything that I don't think is absolutely incredible and I think this brand is incredible and it does make a difference in your lifestyle. Can y'all even handle this cuteness right here with these pumpkin donuts turned into pumpkin actual muffins? I am here for it. I have the recipe guys. It makes 24 muffins or cupcakes. So I did that on purpose because they freeze beautifully, but I didn't want to have a bunch in the freezer. So I just half the recipe and it makes exactly 12 and they're substantial two net carbs per one. Check my e-cookbook link down below. The recipe is there. How freaking cute. Waylon just ate half of one that didn't come out. Only had one casually. Can you believe it? He ate half of one. And Waylon, what did you tell mommy that I was the best what? Cooker. The best cooker in the world, y'all. <laughs> Doesn't that make you feel good when your kids tell you stuff like that? Here is the silicone muffin liner I got from Target. I want to say it was like between five and seven bucks, but so worth it with the little faces on there. So stinking cute. Also in my e-cookbook are my famous granola bars. I feel like everybody that's bought the cookbook, this is what they've been like making over and over and over are the granola bars because they're so stinking good and the cleanest of the clean ingredients, guys. Oh my gosh. And so simple. You're never going to want to buy another bar. I mean, we talk about bars that are good, right? Hecka, Perfect Keto, a lot of the ones that I I like but this at the end of the day is like spot-on perfection again check out that e-cookbook guys you're not gonna be disappointed lots of fall fun recipes in there and there's also a few Christmas items in there as well baked items that I think you're really going to enjoy 315 snack I have been loving these bumblebee wild-caught cracked pepper and sea salt pouches y'all let me know in the comments down below like besides wild planet because they're like million dollar what are some affordable tuna pouches that don't have cruddy oils so far i've done a lot of research and looked on the apps and everything this is the only one that i have found so the cracked pepper and sea salt and the only ingredients it's got going on is tuna water sea salt cracked black pepper that's it 14 grams of protein half a gram of fat, 60 calories, and zero net carbs. This is a good one, guys. A dollar at Wally World. If you need a road snack or need something on the go, it also comes with this handy dandy little like fold out spork. I mean, come on now, for a dollar, let's go. Almost 6.30 dinner tonight. Yes, we are doing mushrooms again, 100 grams. Don't come for me, I love it. I love it as like my veggie side. It's just so bomb. I'm just really digging it and going with it. I got about 60 grams of cucumbers. We're gonna add some Redmond salt and everything seasoning and then don't come for me for this either caveman style I know but I made a crap ton of ribs last week if you watch that other vlog and I made a crap ton specifically because I knew I was going to be eating on them the entire weekend I love me some ribs and chicken wings it's like my favorite carnivore style but you know the carnivore doesn't love the girl so we got to incorporate other stuff with it that 16 ounces weighed out with the bones so we're going to weigh our bones up afterwards and see where we're coming but right now it's making my macros look hella cray for my newbies y'all think I'm playing I am not playing we go hard around here we do the damn thing when it comes to food too we got our cucumbers mushrooms ribs it's going down at 6 30 let's go so we got our bones weighed up and one of them was like nothing but fat so it took up a lot of weight so we are back on track with the macros so speaking of the macros today here we go we did 156 grams of fat so that's normal on a regular day for me but i don't usually get that high anymore 154 protein which is perfect because i'm trying to do my body weight and protein which is 133 however i need to be going over that with the amount of cardio that i'm doing 2201 calories for today we burned almost 1500 from running so this is an awesome day been feeling fire i'm curious to see how we perform in the gym tomorrow with lifting not doing the carb up day and how our ketones are when we test tomorrow
Good morning. Happy Monday. Let's be honest. Let's get it all out. I am feeling a little bit of the feels this morning as far as joint stiffness and some muscle soreness. And I don't feel like I feel that the day after doing the carb up days with the long runs. I woke up feeling really stiff and that was something that kind of like red flag for me um, with doing no carbs post the long run day. So I really like the aspect of doing what I did pre-run. I'm gonna continue to do that, but then afterwards I'm gonna definitely do my carb up with the clean healthy carbs. That way we can get the glycogen and the muscle and the joint support that we need for heavy lifting today. Day. I am up at the gym as you can see I've got a brand new arm day that I put together that I'm scared of because I really don't have a ton of energy today my pre-workout I just drank it it hasn't kicked in yet my gym juice because it always gets me through so I'm hoping that helps me out today but I'm scared going into the gym today I'm scared that I'm not going to be able to lift as heavy as I had go beast mode like we've been going for weeks now I definitely feel like carving up the healthy way clean whole foods carbs definitely helps with lifting heavier it definitely helps with joint support it definitely helps if you were having hormonal issues as a woman out there those are some reasons why you definitely want to incorporate clean healthy carbs once a week and do a carb cycling regimen I truly believe that this is working for me I truly believe that it is working for a lot of ladies out there that I have doing it with me as well and we are just seeing great results again this might not be something for you if you are not near near your goal weight. If you're just starting keto, definitely not for you. Go watch that first week's episode because I talk about all the reasons why you should carb cycle. But y'all, I had a great day yesterday as far as the run, ketones as you saw. But now I think this is going to affect me for the week. I don't know. I'm trying not to be a negative Nelly. We're going to go in here. We're going to kill it and do as beast mode as much as we can because there's no excuses. We're showing up. We're doing the damn thing, right? There is no excuses. There's no like I can't go in there and do what's set on this list right now. We're going to do it. We're going to knock it out. However, it might be a struggle. We'll see because the girl really just wanted to lay in her bed today. I don't know what's going on, but I keep things 100% transparent with you guys. I wanted to document how I was feeling as far as not having the healthy, clean carbs like we've been doing and just let you know 100% how we're feeling. I'm also not feeling as lean as I usually do post a carb up day. If you saw this morning, we're, we're looking fine, but I'm just saying is I feel a little bit leaner and I feel more energetic the day after. After we have the healthy clean carbs because we've got all that stored glycogen we've got the sugars in our system and then we burn them off in the gym so we shall see we'll feel better after we leave this gym y'all know we always feel jacked after we get out of this gym but we just got to get in here show up and do the damn thing follow through nicole just go in there get it done negative thoughts out your head coffee help a girl out y'all I am a believer I was a believer already because I definitely noticed the difference when carb cycling when not carb cycling and just doing my keto lifestyle with a lifting it definitely makes a difference we can argue all day long amazing lifting with keto versus carving up we can have that debate if you want but I definitely feel like keto ketones is great for longevity with cardio I really feel like eating the fat instead of the carbohydrates necessarily prior to my run helped me really, really well with running longevity with the long distance and feeling fire. However, I think that carving up after the long run on a carb up day will help me with my lifting because today I did have to downsize some dumbbells when doing some reps because I went, I just kept going, my arm couldn't even go anymore to exhaustion. And that's what you want to do. But prior weeks when doing the same exact things with the same poundage, I wasn't having that issue. So just comparing it, there is definitely a difference. I do feel like I'm more of a beast mode in the gym lifting 
when having the extra glycogen stored. So I, I am a believer. I do think it's helping with the lifting. I do think it's helping with the muscle gain. And I, that's why I'm gonna continue to do it for that aspect and for the hormonal reasons. I think it is great. I think if you're doing carb loading the right way with clean, healthy carbohydrates, then there is no fear in it. If you were doing it and going and eating a half a sheep birthday cake and going to eat a whole pizza, that's not the way to do it. You're not gonna see gains. You're gonna gain weight you're gonna feel horrible and you're going to be so miserable with yourself. Nobody got obese from eating apples, bananas, fruit, and vegetables. It's just a fact. We got obese from going in there and eating a whole pack of Little Debbies. I mean, Little Debbie, that girl right there, if I see her on the street, it's going down. Just saying, Little Debbie, you, you got me to 230 pounds, girl. You helped me get there. But guess what? I'm the one that picked up the Little Debbie and put it in my mouth. Little Debbie didn't tell me to do it. So we can't blame everything on something else. We have to look in the mirror, face our fears, face the facts that we got ourselves to the position that we did. We're the ones that did that to ourselves. Nobody else did it but us. So we can't put the blame on anybody else. But I do feel like clean carbohydrates are the way to go. And that's the way that you need to do carb cycling. So if you go back and watch my whole playlist of carb cycling, guys, I'm showcasing different foods that I'm eating week to week and how to do it the clean, healthy, good way to see results. So I feel good now that my, my gym day is done. Obviously, arm day, I always feel great afterwards. But I do feel a difference. To be honest with y'all, the girl feels a difference. We need this protein coffee now. Back home, I'm starving. We're going to do the Trader Joe's Autumn Maple Coffee Cups. These things are bomb. I like them better than the pumpkin spice. You heard me right. And then in my handy dandy Morocco, we've got about four to five tablespoons of the French vanilla refrigerated nut pods. And yes, we are doing two coffees today. Don't act like y'all don't do it out there. Equip Complete Collagen Unflavored is going in with the nut pods. It is ready to roll, y'all. You see that? Testing ketones before lunch. We're coming in at a 0.7 post-workout, post protein coffee and this is where I've been coming in post my carb cycling days too once doing my workouts so that's pretty interesting to me with the keto coach monitor don't let numbers get in your head because just because someone's reading at a 0.5 or a 3.0 doesn't mean they're burning ketones more efficiently than you sometimes if you're coming in at a 0.3 0.4 that just means you're utilizing ketones better for energy and that's why you're not reading at a 0.5 so this is just a really good tool to see if you know certain things are working for you food wise all that good stuff it's just a tool, a gauge. It's not something that you need to wrap your life around for sure. But I just wanted to test and see where we were coming yesterday. Post the run, remember at a 1.1, which was stupid for me because I've been ranging 0 0.5, 0 0.7 pretty consistent and I'm happy with that. Let's talk about what's important and that is a brunch. 964 calories, nine net carbs. We are doing two of my pumpkin donuts, but I did them in the cute muffin form. We've got 53 grams of avocado with Redmond salt and everything seasoning, 75 grams of raspberries and three Vital Farms eggs with the breakfast blend from Primal Palette and Redmond salt. And there's the coffee looking perfect. This is going to be amazing. If you're wondering, the pumpkin donuts guys are two net carbs each. So that is incredible. And we're getting our other carbs from the raspberries and the avocado, but we need avocado for the fat source. Y'all better be eating that avocado per day. It's going to keep the doctor away. Forget those apples, but you know, I love the damn apples. Let's get it. I'm starving. Do yourself a favor and make those pumpkin donuts. So when I made them into muffins, you do have a little bit more batter in there. It's still the macros are the same because you're going to be making 12. Cook time's a little bit longer if you're making muffins. So for me, I think it was like 30 to 35 minutes versus the 20 that I have in the cookbook. Just FYI, if you're not making donuts and you're making muffin form, just check on them until you get the consistency and you poke a toothpick in there and it doesn't come out, you know, all hot mess. So just wanted to throw that out there if you're going to be making them differently than the recipe, but check down below because I always have the cookbook and that is a staple. Like I can have that with the just made keto muffins. Uh, those muffins, mine and hers together, like I could eat that every morning with everything that you see every single day until the day that I die. So flipping good. It's almost three o'clock, going in with a snack. I made and prepped my granola bars as I showed you. I am obsessed with these. I get a lot of people ask me what nut butter I use in them. I use this time the Sam's Club almond butter is what I use in the original recipe for the macros in the e-cookbook but I have switched it up and used the base culture cinnamon. They also have a base 
culture gingerbread one, what, that I'm definitely going to incorporate, which makes them a little higher in carb if you use a different nut butter. But the one from Sam's Club are just your basic almonds and salt. Nut butter is going to be the lowest in carb and be the most accurate for the macros that I have in the cookbook. So I'm going to eat one of these probably with the cherry cola Zevia. I know it's three o'clock with the caffeine, but I'm just feeling the pick me up vibes. It is dinner time at our house. That's only appropriate to say because I'm using my bestie, Christy, that cute lady's new cookbook, which is called It's Dinner Time at Our House. So we are doing her chicken carbonara, but I'm going to be adding some shrimp to mine as well as the chicken. And instead of using olive oil or avocado oil, I've got some bacon grease in there to fry up our chicken thighs and get that ready. I'm not going to tell you step by step because this is her recipe and her brand new cookbook. I will have a link down below. I've got my proteins over here, tray over here, up my booty always, right? Y'all, I am eating cheese tonight, all right? So this is from Imperfect cheese. Foods, and this is a Raw's cow milk. So we're gonna give this a try and see if I have any effect with it because I'm looking for cheese that doesn't have lactose in it, and this one's pretty low on the lactose scale. I've got the Dairy-Free Heavy Whipping Cream by Silk already measured up there. We are gonna be using the Naturals Heaven Pasta. This is a spaghetti. I get this off Amazon and their websites constantly having good deals. And back here, guys, this is going to be something coming in the future months from Redmond's. These are samples. This is a chicken bone broth. You just add water to it and it's a cup of bone broth. Like what? That's going to be amazing to have like shelf stable. It's already if it's liquid, but you know what I mean? Like that's crazy. And there it is right there. It looks incredible. You've got a little bit of the salt residue at the bottom. I'm here for it. Did I mention this recipe has bacon in it too? Let's go. Are y'all ready for this greatness? Oh my Lord. This looks amazing. I did add a little extra cheese on the top, glutton for punishment, I know. But we should be okay, because I think the girl has a lactose problem. I really do, because I've had some things with Parmesan cheese and I've been fine. It's when I ate the mozzarella straight out the gate, guys. Mozzarella is loaded with lactose. It's like the most lactose cheese that there is, and I went with that hard the first day coming off of Dairy Free. So I'm trying to do a low lactose cheeses and wean them in slowly but surely. Here is my side salad. I've got some spinach, half of an avocado, cucumbers, bacon pieces, and one chopped egg. I'm going to put some Primal Kitchen dressing on top. And here's the hubs with the beautiful blue cheese. I wish I could have that. I'm working my way up to it, guys, because it's low in lactose too. We shall see. I'm using the cilantro lime Primal Kitchen dressing. This one's really good. It is a little bit higher in carbs, so it is four carbs, four total carbs, four net carbs for two tablespoons. I'm just going to do one tablespoon. So that's two net carbs, which I don't think is bad for a dressing. 698 calories, seven net carbs. Get her cookbook in your life. I know I've been mentioning a lot of cookbooks, mine, Christie's. This is probably going to be something that is bomb the next day because that sauce is going to thicken a little bit. Oh yeah, it's going to be awesome. So, so good. She's got a lot of really good recipes. I will say a lot of the recipes in there are cheese alicious okay so if you're dairy free out there there are a few that you can definitely um dairy free fi but there's a lot that you can't but there's some delicious ones in there so that's why the girl's trying to incorporate a little bit here and there so we can indulge every once in a while so far i'm feeling good after having that cheese it was the raw cheese like i showed you so i will definitely document uh tomorrow and let you guys know how i feel how i felt tonight Today's macros, we did 41 total carbs, which was 20 out of 25 net because we had 21 fiber, 142 fat, 136 protein, 2,098 calories to end our Monday starting off this week strong. Okay, y'all, so the results are in. I am not feeling any effects from that cheese that we ate on the pasta from Dat Keto Lady's new e-cookbook. Really happy about that. Again, I bought some uh, no lactose to zero to minimal lactose cheeses that we're going to slowly incorporate. For lunch right now, I'm actually going to eat some Swiss cheese, so watch Monday's vlog to see if it affected me. It shouldn't because there's like literally no lactose in it. And I really do think that's my issue. Is lactose not so much um, just dairy in general because I've been eating some things with a little bit of dairy here and there and they haven't affected me but I think things that in high lactose like that mozzarella we had for the pizza night it was definitely a bad choice and I think that um, I've been affected by it but I'm trying to slowly incorporate it because I do miss certain recipes of my own my own recipes and certain things that the hubby's missing with cheese and we'll just have them occasionally 
and just not go, you know, ape on it, but slowly incorporate it. Still do all the dairy free stuff because I'm enjoying a lot of the things that I found with doing dairy free, but incorporating a couple of recipes I think will be good in the long run. So feeling great guys, as y'all saw with the weight, I don't know if I posted it, but I am a down a pound after that meal that we had and still the next day, a down a pound as well. Feeling good, ketones have been fire. Um, we watch Monday's vlog, you'll see Wednesday's ketones and just feeling absolutely great and cannot complain, but I do feel like the carbohydrates help me throughout the week with lifting. My run this morning that I did was lacking and I think that those stored carbohydrates with the glycogen have helped me for arm day, leg day, and the short runs throughout the week. So I will be incorporating that back this Sunday, but doing our little pre-run little tip going forward. I think that really did help. And I am going to do the avocado bread hack this week to see if it helps with the cramping. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and everything is lit up like a Christmas tree so you do not miss a future upload from me. Y'all make sure to check out our challenges we've got going on for October. Right now when you're watching, we are currently doing the 100 squats a day challenge. We have a challenge every single week for the month of October. They are doable for every Everybody, so please come and join us and if you are on IG definitely tag me and that way I can reshare your post for the challenges and go and join my closed Facebook group I will have that link down below so that way you can participate in the challenges over there it's a great motivational inspirational space where we lift and motivate each other on a daily basis no drama no negativity no keto police all are welcome y'all have an amazing day and an awesome week I will see you guys in the next vlog keep killing it keep showing up keep doing the damn thing. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.